take the last word. So, Kim, yes. Do you want to give us an overview of the process in some concrete terms? I was there in the beginning when the workshop start, uh, workshops, uh, the first workshops, really interesting and uh, inspiring. I found them, and uh, of course, then we have we have uh, talked about the pieces when we have lessons and uh, discuss the, the composition and how, how to write and, and, and so on. But uh, then, I mean, I have not been a part of rehearsals and so on. So for me, it was very interesting to. Uh, that you actually came to the concert uh, in February, and uh, that I think was great, really, and also a, a bit surprising. I don't know very much about composing, so maybe Daniel. Working with these uh, these musicians, m musicians, uh, we have uh, musicians who are trained in in the traditional notation. And then there are those who, who are not. For, for creating instructions with the notation is, uh, one need to figure out a, a new system, which can be easily understood, and not in a way that it uh, affects the, the quality of, of, the, of the part, of the instrument, that it's, uh, the, the notation and the instructions are so simple that the instrument becomes simple as well. You need to find a way to uh, to make the instructions clear so that the vision, what you want the piece and what you want that instrument to do, uh, that it's uh, highlighted. How have you worked to achieve an equal relationship between the two ensembles? Some of these musicians don't read traditional notation, so we had to think how can we express our musical ideas in a way that they can still understand it. So we had to use a little bit of symbols and, yeah. and so on. A lot of text as well, yeah. but not too much. Too much information can get yeah, very confusing. Yeah. And also we wanted to leave a bit to their own interpretation of it. Mm. So just to give them an, an idea and then they can start working with it. And, do their own thing. Do you want to add something? Yeah, but I um, I had a different approach, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe um, my um, my immediate uh, thought when I first knew about the setup of these ensembles was not to consider them as two different ensembles, but rather as one, because that is what my my piece is about. It's about finding and building a center with a unison sound and to the entire ma material is about finding a unison sound which means that uh, I don't have any any solo voices with uh, accompaniments yeah, or any similar kind of, of texture like that but instead um, the uh, the attributes of each instrument and what they can contribute with are equally important in order to create this this mass of sound which is the material for for the entire piece you start out from musical ideas you have a vision of of the sound and like like uh, what's coming out together and i think that is really the important thing here it's and then we find ways of not, n notation and so on. Uh, you have a lot of knowledge in these things. You can use the traditional notation and you can, uh, I mean, parts of it are really advanced things with uh, like for uh, complex rhythmical things and, and so on. But also that it's, uh, you, you're looking for a specific sound or sound worlds that you combine. So I, I think that was the strength really. So that it came down to, to the idea of an ar artistic work and there is where you meet. It was very good with the workshop days because you, you start like playing around <laughs> with things and trying out things and you, you uh, did uh, improvisations uh, that I also followed a part of it that I think was very good because that opened this ground for yeah <laughs> for playing with things first and I think that was very important and a key key thing. What have been the greatest challenge in this project? I think it was to to kind of have an idea as we worked on the piece how it would sound in the end. Yes. Because there were some, some new sounds for us to work with 
and uh, I mean but no reference other than our mind yeah so we because have to, we to notate visualize it. a lot of how yes. we actually with sound so the, the workshops were great because yeah. then we got to to try it all out and see how is this actually working in reality for me the the greatest challenge was to to, f- to find the balance uh, between not just the electronics and the acoustic instruments but for everyone and to, to find that that mutual playground where they can be free within the characters of, of their instruments but also within the framework of my my vision of the composition and so, so, so that was uh, one of the the big things uh, working on but also a good place to work on since of the workshop uh, opportunities to to really figure out and to try things and then realize that okay this has to be changed in in a different way to make it more accessible or more yeah closer to to the vision and to the instruments and um, how do you think that uh, the experience from this project will affect your future work as a composer? Well, there was so much that is similar as we talked about yeah. uh, during the process. It's really, it really doesn't matter that much. The interesting thing, I think, was the, the idea of using the, the guesturement. Using How the e- iPads. The easy access to yeah, an yeah, instrument. Yeah and the easy use of that instrument. It was um, an eye-opener because uh, we were working together with uh, non-musicians as well. And uh, that can be something that uh, we can work with in the future as well, like incorporating people from outside this uh, sort of inner circle of musicians where everyone knows basic like uh, music theory and uh, how to play from sheets, etc. But uh, this broadens, I think, our artistic visions and uh, our art- artistic approach. To it hasn't. It hasn't been the composer write a piece, and then the ensemble performs it. The end. This has been a, a workshop, several workshops, and to to have that chance to to work with the musicians to discuss it and uh, to uh, to to really take a deep dive into that material and to try new things that is that is the key element of, of taking something from from the project on and carry it on would you like to tell us a little bit about your pieces give a little presentation do you two want to start yeah well um this piece is called Graphic Pitches. Yeah, what can we We, we really got the inspiration say? from uh, one of the pieces that we got yeah. shown during the workshop. Yeah. And then we got some idea from how they notated things there. And we wanted to kind of build on that and add a, yeah, bit, we want to expand. Add a bit more of a traditional notation yeah. in combination with this uh, graphic notation. So we wanted to uh, expand and maybe be, put be more specific more about specific. our ideas yes. as composers to how the music should sh- should uh, yeah sound. like uh, like writing in the climaxes and uh, the dynamics yeah and use some words and some some dots and some lines yes. and, you know. my piece nuance is has been about creating a big block of sound uh, much uh, much like your your piece uh, where it's all just one big mass of material and that is the the, the material for the entire piece and uh, then uh, in order to develop and to make variations on that uh, that material without changing the content of it i have uh, seen it as as a as a piece of of a sculpture which you can rotate and to f- look from different angles and thereby creates uh, new nuances of the same material, hence the title. 